was founded in, in 2014 after two years of research and development. Uh, the research and development came across as uh, a, a little bit of an accident because I have been in the financial sector for 20 years. Uh, after 2008 in the financial recession I said I had it with finance. Uh, but my family background is from the shipping industry and uh, we then uh, had to travel down to Singapore where our shipping companies were located and to actually, sadly enough, close uh, two-thirds of our companies, uh, leave almost all our employees. Uh, so it was a bad and sad experience for us. Uh, however, what was good about it, we, we met the engineers in our shipbuilding division uh, that taught us a lot about nanotechnology. And I was both amazed and fascinated and I said, there must be room for mass consumer goods within this technology. Uh, so we started studying the market and we quickly found out that electronics was an interesting uh, path to go because screen protection for or surface protection for electronics is a 15 billion dollar industry globally and it's led by tempered glass which is not uh, something that is suitable for the future because the mobile phones was in transition they started to change they become foldable bendable curved pressure functions where te traditional um, traditional screen protection didn't work anymore. So uh, it gave us an opportunity to grab, get into the market, and we have very quickly become the number one uh, world leader in non-technology for surface protection in electronics. Uh, on the backbone of that, we have developed uh, uh, at least 24 new products in what we call the lifestyle series, and also uh, antibacterial products, which we will talk a little bit more about later. Well, on nanotechnology, we have a lot of advantages. First of all, we were the first movers in our industry, uh, uh, meaning we have been here now since 2014 when there were nobody else in the market. So we have kind of walked up the whole market and which has given us lead time in terms of certification, verification, trial, failing, improving. So b before competition arised in the market, we have already rooted ourselves as the number one uh, brand in the nanotechnology. Uh, our other division, which has come as an automatic uh, response to the COVID changes, where we have used both nanotechnology and microbiology to actually develop a whole range of preventive products to actually prevent spread of, 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 the, of the COVID virus uh, and other, other pandemics as well. And, and don't forget that we currently are uh, having a 3% deadly rate of normal influenza viruses a year, our products also cover these, these kind of uh, measures. So I think that will be our leading and our advantage towards our, our competition in the market. Right now, at the moment, it's our new division that we have what choose to call Nanofixed Defense. Nanofixed Defense is our answer to the outbreak of the pandemic. However, I would like to say that it's been part of our company since 2015. We developed uh, the first world antibacterial uh, wipe for electronics. Uh, and the reason why we developed that is that we did studies on mobile phones. We found out that every square inch on every single mobile phone that we tested or uh, tablets or whatever other electronics we tested it on has around 30,000 bacteria or viruses per square inch, not per phone. We saw that as a great opportunity with a single application every 30 days, uh, very low cost, uh, in significant investments, uh, would be of importance of people. Unfortunately, the reaction in the market is that, nah, we don't need it. Um, uh, which was a little bit sad for us. So we had much lower revenue on one of the most important product uh, up until the COVID outbreak. Now, that part of our business can produce fast enough based on demand. So that is definitely one of our biggest opportunities. Then we created Nanofixed Defense. And Nanofixed Defense is today uh, a whole range of defense product or preventive products for spread of not just COVID, but all other kind of pandemics, viruses, bacteria, and so forth. So we have 
uh, created um, full room sanitation products with microbiology and nanotechnology. So you can disinfect room with 30 days efficiency, meaning it will actively kill viruses and bacteria uh, for 30 days um, uh, non-stop. Uh, and then you reapply it. And it is actually also developed in a way where it's positively charged versus negatively charged virus and bacteria, so they will attract each other. So even if it's airborne, it will, it will attract to surfaces, break the cell wall, and it will kill the viruses. And this, we believe, is a very important uh, uh, way to tackle the challenges the global world is facing with this outbreak of corona, but also other bacteria and viruses flowing around us in everyday life. sad to say that we are doing way better than expected and the reason why I'm saying it's sad to say is that our extreme growth comes as a result of some of the saddest things this world has experienced on this planet and, and so it's sad that the world has come to a place where it is. It is good that we have managed to grow the company and that the opportunity is uh, almost unforeseeable big at the moment. Uh, however, we try not to focus so much about the revenue side of it, more about the technology and deploying uh, uh, products that will have a, a valuable effect for a, for a global market uh, to stop the spread and, 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 uh, and make sure that we can live safer and more normalized than we are doing at the moment. Well, UAE is a great place for Nanofixit out of several reasons. First of all, personally, I have, a, I have a, a lot of emotions to UAE. I lived here from 1997 to 2001, so I have a, a, a lot of respect and a lot of love for this country. But the main reason is it's strategically located very correctly. Uh, you have a very innovative country. Uh, you have a government that supports innovation, that is willing to deploy, willing to invest willing to try, fail and find solutions into market. You have also shown the global world that you have tackled uh, uh, pandemic outbreaks like COVID very professionally and in the right way. And so far managing to grow and reopen without having this vast spread, as you can see, United States is struggling with today. So I think you lead with a good example. And I think we have valuable products that we have developed that can help you also continue to lead the good example and spread that around the world so that we suddenly can get rid of this pandemic spread once and for all and be more prepared for future pandemic outbreaks, which naturally will come. When our discussion started with the, the office here, uh, it, it was uh, originally to deploy our nanotechnology product that we have probably uh, generated huge revenue and big success about. Uh, but after seeing the opportunity, the support uh, and, and, and the enthusiasm and the responsibility the UAE government has taken, I see now relocation of headquarters and not just the distribution uh, as originally planned. This was supposed to be our MENA region distribution hub. Uh, now I see more moving part of our R&D, part of our testing facility, uh, the MENA region distribution company, and hopefully and eventually hope, uh, uh, headquarter moving into the UAE region and, and publicly listing, which has been our plan uh, for, for, for years and our, our target was 2020. I think more 2021, 2022 would be a realistic public listing. Uh, uh, and we, we always looked which stock exchange would be ideal for us. And, and you had the US, United States in your, in, in your mind at the moment. That is a place I don't even want to travel to. Uh, you have UK, which is suffering with their problems. You have Hong Kong, which suddenly is not Hong Kong anymore. And, and so, so uh, limited opportunities. And with this strategic partnership, with, 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 the, with the development of, of this uh, government. I believe this probably will be the safest place to be uh, uh, and the fastest growing uh, economy again after this outbreak uh, and it will be an ideal market for us to be on. So I see us moving uh, most of our management headquarters 
uh, into the UAE. That will be our long-term goals.